the head of the main United Nations humanitarian agency serving Palestinians, has said that aggression against UN staff and installations would not be tolerated. Filippo Grandi made his comments a day after demonstrators, angered by aid cutbacks, stormed the United Nations Gaza headquarters. I want to stress one thing first. UNRWA had to make some adjustments to its uh, cash distribution program. And uh, that is regrettable because those adjustments were driven by lack of money. Uh, we had a cash distribution program for poor families uh, that from which 20,000 families benefited and we had to uh, cut it. So I have appreciation for the frustration of the people, especially the poor people. However, however, we can have no tolerance whatsoever for uh, um, uh, uh, aggressive behavior towards our installations and our staff in particular. And this is what happened yesterday. There was a pre-organized demonstration, and demonstrations are fine, but not when they turn violent and very risky. The United Nations Relief and Works Agency closed all its offices in Gaza on Thursday, and the office is only set to resume operations when the local authorities can guarantee the security of UN workers who are in the coastal enclave seeking to provide the poorest Gazans with necessities such as bread and drinking water. The UN recently decided to curtail cash handouts in Gaza, saying the organization is being forced to make targeted cutbacks. The most important activity that has been suspended temporarily, of course, uh, pending, uh, pending uh, guarantees of security are food distributions. Tw 25,000 people receive food every day in Gaza. So until we get those guarantees, we will not resume those distributions. Now, what has been suspended for good, in fact, has been now adjusted for good, is the cash distribution. That, uh, that is the decision that we made that triggered this, uh, these, uh, these uh, events. And that's because uh, we don't have enough money anymore to run cash distributions. However, we adjusted it. We did not completely cancel the activities. Half of the families that uh, are now deprived of cash distributions will be considered in priority for another program which is funded, which we call Job Creation Program, Cash for Work. Some 800,000 Palestinians depend on the United Nations to survive. The UN's relief agency said it has been forced to cut cash payments to the poorest families because of Gaza's rapidly increasing population. In Gaza, the agency distributes food and runs dozens of schools and medical clinics.